Innovation Project. As a proud member of the class of 94, I'm thrilled to have all of you here to join us today to celebrate a project that will benefit our children and this community for years to come. Before we begin, I'd like to make a few introductions and offer some thank yous. First, let me introduce the, uh, the members of today's shovel team. Dan Winter, President of Decatur Public Schools Board of Education. Gloria Davis, Superintendent of Decatur Public Schools. Dave Weber, Patty Swinford, and Brian Briggs, Tri-Chairs of the Decision for Decatur Committee. Lisa Mann, Deputy Superintendent of Decatur Public Schools. Chuck Hoots, Principal of Eisenhower High School. and Savannah Myers and Anthony Bond, seniors at Eisenhower High School. I would also like to thank the many, many people who helped make today a reality. The Decatur Public Schools Board of Education who set this vision. Members that are here today include Sherry Perkins, Brian Hodges, Jackie Bullard, Lavelle Pete, Dan Oaks, and Kevin Moore in addition to Dan Winter. I'd also like to thank the hundreds of students, parents, teachers, staff, and community members who saw this project through, from the high school task force to Decision for Decatur and to the Vote Yes Committee. To the Macon County Board and school districts throughout Macon County who supported the effort of the sales tax referendum, the many organizations and companies in the community that have supported, contributed to, and guided this effort. To our contractors, Nichols & Associates, Hart Technology, Bodine Electric, King Lar, Prairie Fire Sprinkler, Netech Corporation, and all of our local labor organizations. And finally, and most importantly, to the citizens of Decatur who believed enough into the schools and to cater to support this amazing project. Thank you. A year and a half ago, the Decatur community came together to commit to our students and to our schools at the ballot box. As a result of the vote on the 1% sales tax in another year and a half, this building will stand as a state-of-the-art testament to our support for education in Decatur. I would now like to introduce Dave Weber, Executive Vice President of UC Bank and one of the Tri-Chairs for Decision for Decatur, to tell you how we got here and what this project means. Thank you very much, Beth. Uh, Beth just mentioned it was a year and a half ago. That was a referendum. The process actually started three years ago when um, the school district started having meetings at Eisenhower and MacArthur, um, public meetings where people were coming in to give their ideas about uh, what a new high school, what a new high school should look like or remodeled high school should look like. So that started uh, early in 2009 and I happened to attend one of the later meetings just to see what was going on. And it was quite interesting. I showed up and DLDD was there with all kinds of different colored squares and public people are 60 to 80, maybe 100 of them that are putting squares on, you know, superimposed on the building so forth, trying to see what the, uh, the new buildings might look like. And um, so I left there thinking, boy, they've got um, quite a lot of work ahead of them. Didn't think too much about it until uh, several weeks later I got a call from Gloria and she said she wanted to have uh, lunch with me, and I think most of you know we sponsor the Education Spotlight on WSOY on Friday mornings. I thought it was maybe about that. We had lunch. She uh, told me about the uh, more about the, the process and what was going on and, and asked if I would consider being uh, one of the chairs of, of the uh, committee. So I, I was noncommittal, went away, uh, and... Uh, tried ignoring her, thinking that she wouldn't bother me again, and, and uh, she kept at me, and so finally I, I 
understood that I was going to have to make a decision whether I was going to get involved or not. And uh, Gloria is a hard person, as most you know, to, uh, to say no to, so I agreed to do it. And uh, what, uh, what that meant is I became one of the tri-chairs with uh, Patty Swinford and Brian Briggs. And uh, we were working with the task force, the original people that were working uh, at the uh, community uh, meetings and working on the high school project. And they kind of turned into the facilitating team. And uh, we uh, started working uh, and said, you know, hey, we've got, got to come up with a plan here. So we started working on a plan. The first thing we thought we needed a name for the uh, committee, and we came up with Decision 40 Cater. Um, the, uh, uh, out of this process, there were four options uh, to remodel the two high schools, build a new high school, remodel steam and decatur, um, or do nothing. The do nothing was very expensive. There was a lot of health safety issues that had to be taken care of. So the, the public, you know, very quickly threw that option out. Other options had a price tag over $100 million. And so uh, we had kind of lofty, lofty aspirations at that time. And so uh, we started engaging the public. We did surveys and so forth. One of the surveys came back that said 82% um, of the public realized that we needed to do something with our high school facilities. Um, however, the bad news, six out of seven said they did not want a property tax. And the only way that we could get to a figure that we were hoping, we had to do a property tax and a sales tax. So we got back together and started saying, well, it looked like it can only be a sales tax, and so what can we do? So we got back with Sam and DLDD, and they came up with some just wonderful drawings for both the high school and new high school. And uh, we continue to take it out to the public, ask what their uh, ideas were and so forth, and, and uh, uh, what they thought. And we continue to listen to them. We uh, ended up narrowing the... Uh, the options down to two, and that was to remodel the two existing high schools or build a brand new one. And as we uh, started looking at the sales tax, it uh, kind of opened another door. That ended up um, making us realize that this was a countywide issue and not just Decatur. So we started visiting with all the other county superintendents to uh, let them know what Decatur's plans were and so forth. We started visiting with the board. We were having meetings with community leaders, charitable organizations, and everybody in town, trying to make sure that they understood what we were doing. And so um, all the county schools got on board, uh, voted to uh, put the referendum on the ballot. And uh, you know, that's uh, one of the reasons we're standing here today, as Beth mentioned about a year and a half ago. The referendum passed in November. Uh, this none of this would have happened without Gloria's vision. Uh, the school district had a long-term plan, and uh, within that long-term plan was uh, to uh, uh, address the uh, deteriorating high schools. And so, uh, a number of superintendents before uh, Gloria didn't tackle it, but uh, she did. Had the support from the board and uh, we went after it. Uh, as we got closer to the referendum, we started looking at the numbers, and, and uh, one of the things that uh, became apparent is that with the sales tax, we're gonna be able to create quite a few jobs. And one of the, the figures that uh, we came up with was close to 2,000 jobs are gonna be generated with this, uh, with this sales tax. It's gonna be pumped right back into the community with uh, some of our local uh, contractors and uh, individuals. Uh, one of the other things that was very... Thank you. I must have uh, got the bid, I don't know. Uh, one of the other things that was really nice is that during this process, um, uh, if you, if you think back three years, the recession going on and so forth, it was really tough times. And it was uh, really uh, satisfying to see this, uh, see the referendum pass and the community and all the people get behind it. But one of the, you know, it was an opportunity because we were able to lock in some historically low bond rates that will save the school districts and our community over millions of dollars. And we just got the biggest bang for our buck.